Hello, 9th standard. We will do the revision for two chapters today. Organization of tissues and <coughs> plant physiology. <coughs> These two are the portions for the test. Yeah. I hope you are prepared well. Huh? So in the organization of tissues lesson, I have made it into three videos. First one, the, it is as plant and animal tissues. Is it? So it is plant and animal tissues. Like a prandi, alnama cell division particularly. Cell division as mitosis and meiosis. Adu, remember, important. Plant tissues, animal tissues, uh, cell division, mitosis and meiosis. Adu, first, adu, akkattadu vandu plant physiology. I hope you understand. So, idu moonu murchitu. First, plant, uh, plant tissues and animal tissue, 27. 28, one, mitosis and meiosis cell division, we have to recollect the points. Third, one, the plant physiology, and then, recalling the lesson, summing up the lesson. And then, the video 29 and 27, 28, 29, 30, one, the question answer as uh, uh, what is that? Creative question, hard questions. And the mother sample questions that we are revising. That is the schedule of revision today. And I will give you a duration. I will give you a little At the same time, you have to concentrate on this video presentation. Okay. So I will continue video 27, chapter 18, revision, organization of tissues where you are going to learn about plant tissues and animal tissues okay now this plant tissues as we know it is classified into meristematic tissue and permanent tissues first cell is the structural and functional unit of life and group of cells forming the tissues and these tissues when they divide multiply, elongate and mature, they form the permanent tissues. The region of the tissues where the region of cell division occurs, they are called meristematic tissues. I, I hope you could follow this. Huh? So, plant tissues are classified into meristematic tissue and permanent tissues. Meristematic tissue, as we know, they are of three types, apical meristem, lateral meristem and intercalary meristem. I repeat, apical meristem, lateral meristem and intercalary meristem. Whereas permanent tissues, they are as simple permanent and complex permanent. Simple permanent tissues, they are further classified into parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma. And this parenchyma, they are further classified based on their location as chlorenchyma. Chloroplast filled cells, parenchymatous cells are called chlorenchyma. The parenchyma cells with the air spaces, they are aranchyma. And parenchyma cells with the storage material, they are called storage parenchyma. And as I said in the description of the lesson earlier, it is depending on the location also, as we say, as uh, in the root system center, it is forming the conjunctive tissue. In the stem, it is forming the pit, the tears of dicot stem, it forms the pit. Upon the leaf, it forms the mesophyll. Other details for other than the complex permanent tissue. They are as xylem and phloem, where as the name says complex, xylem, it is formed of xylem tracheids, vessels or tracheae, xylem parenchyma, xylem fibers. Same way, phloem is formed of sieve tube, companion cell, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. I hope you could remember this. The next one, this is longitudinal section of a shoot apex showing location of meristem 
and young leaves apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem apical meristem will increase the length of the plant height of the plant same way lateral meristem will increase the thickness of the stem and the rumba important and the diagram how is it in the main diagram question it is usually they will ask I hope you understand so the given diagram it is apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem right see this diagram what you are seeing the transverse section of sunflower stem when a stem is cut on the transverse position we find inner structure like this and the V mari cut it clear and the portion and the a portion enlarged this is transverse section of a sunflower a portion enlarged where we find all the types of permanent tissues as outermost layer epidermis and hypodermis it is the colon chymatis tissue <coughs> hypodermis is the colon chymatis tissue in the pink color in the pointer or red dot in the colon chymatis tissue then in the second line it is chlorine chymatis tissue the dot 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 the parenchyma cells this is the chlorine chymatis tissue then this is the normal parenchyma then in the Sunflower is a resin duct, a reserve material, storage material. Then in the layer, the curved line, that's the ring. In the side of the picture, the ring is the endodermis. And following that is the sclerone chymatis tissue. This is the sclerone chymatis tissue. This is the sclerone chymatis tissue. Then we find the labeling phloem. <coughs> we find the labeling phloem. Then this is cambium. The stripes are put here. And the line I cut here. Dot. In the stripe. This <coughs> one the cambium. Cambium is the actively dividing cell. Then xylem. The red spherical structure. Circle, circle. That is one the xylem. Then pith. The center portion is occupying the pit. The next one, it is where types of parenchyma, it is the normal simple parenchyma. This is aranchyma with the air spaces and this is chlorenchyma, cells with the chloroplast. Sharia. The next one, colonchyma and sclerenchyma. The diagram ni patko, diagram question la idhi kepen. Colonchyma la only uh, the thickening are confined to the corner so that is colon chyma tissue scleren chymala there are two types sclerites and fiber sclerites are isodiametric and with the center lumen lumen cavity and the sclerites are also known as stone cells i hope you understand hmm? the next one it is xylem formed of Four types, complex tissue, xylem trachea, vessel, parenchyma and xylem fibers. Where xylem trachea and vessels, they are long, narrow, pipeline like. Where the uh, trachea are narrow, pipeline like. Where xylem, they are long, wide and the wider than the Trichates are the difference and then the whole uh, trichates and vessel they are provided with the thickening as it is called bordered pit. Then third figure is the xylem parenchyma. It is a living tissue and this is a xylem fiber. Dead cell it is also known as wood fiber. Then here this one is the phloem where it is formed of sieve tube, companion cell, phloem, parenchyma and phloem fibers. The label 4 is the sieve plate 
where it is acting as a sieve. Chalarai chalonle, and where it is acting as a sieve. And in phloem, companion cell is the only living uh, companion cell is the living tissue with the nucleus. Whereas sieve tube will not have nucleus. Companion cell, second one, companion cell labeling the long dikla, it has a nucleus. Whereas sieve tube will not have nucleus. And xylem connects water and minerals from the root to the upper part of the plant, whereas phloem connects food material from the leaves to different parts of the plant. Right? Now what you are seeing is the xylem thickening. Now my textbook la in the madri the concrete la. Now my textbook la in the madri irke. So idhala one or no the packet la par annular, spiral, scalary form. Reticulate and pitted. This is xylem thickening. Thickening is the cell wall, trachea and vessel. They are pipeline like chunnulle, but in the pipe mari irundalu, they are lined by thickening. And the thickening is the annular na ring mari irko. Spiral shape, spiral ladder form. Ye ni mari irkerde, scalary form and different network na reticulate. Pitted na anganga water vande ala chutti cell wall material irkum. Ada ida vande ne tani tani ya purunjuko. Right? So this is annular, spiral, scalary form, reticulate and pitted thickening. Okay. Then next one it is classification of animal tissue. If you have a new video, you can see it again. If you have a new video, go through that video again. Now, it is only summing up term. Where it is epithelial tissue meant for protection, secretion, absorption. Where it is further classified as squamous epithelium, columnar epithelium, cuboidal, ciliated, and glandular epithelium. I can see the notes in the animal tissues. Other location and nature of the epithelial tissue. But if you test in the session, video session, you can go through it. Right? Connected tissue, it is meant for support, binding and packing. It is further as connective tissue proper, supported connective tissue, dense connective tissue and fluid connective tissue as supportive on the area sorry connective la areolar and adipose it is on the cartilage and bone dense la tendon and ligament fluid la on the it is two types blood and the lymph where blood further blood plasma rbc wbc it is on the lymph plasma wbc i hope you are following the nervous muscle is skeletal muscle, striated muscle and cardiac muscle. The muscle based on the question answer video is that you can understand easily. The nervous tissue, nerve cell or neuron, structural and functional unit of nervous system. It is formed of a center neuron or cell body or cyton. When it is branching into many dendron, dendron further into dendrites, one of the dendron branching as axon which is formed of two layers, outer neural lemma, inner myelin sheet. Neural lemma is not smooth in nature with the constriction and those constriction is called nodes of Ranvier. And axon ending in synapses or nerve ending or end plate where it is ending with the muscle fibrils and also blood capillaries, arterioles and venules. What are they? Arterioles and venules are capillaries. I hope you understand this. So the epithelial tissue main location and the culture can learn and the mother they revise and I put the video in the order to go through and earlier with that you will understand easily. Okay, so follow this, revise well. We will continue in the next session. Thank you. Do well.